Hello guys, this is Pawan from Ambedotronics. So today in this video tutorial, I will show you how uh, we can uh, uh, upgrade our Windows 10 to Windows 11 in unsupported ha hardware. Uh, in my last video also, I showed you how we can uh, do that. But you will see uh, one more method in this case and that is very easy method. And what we have to do, we just need to uh, go to our Google and we need to just download Windows uh, 11 uh, download and here uh, we will just uh, click on this first link and here if you just come down to the page and here uh, download windows 11 disk image you have to download the iso file basically so select download here you have to click and here you just need to select windows 11 multi edition and then uh, download now you have to click it will validate uh, your thing and then uh, select the product language and all then here you just need to select the language in my case i'll select english and as soon as I start i'll just click uh, confirm confirm it will just uh, uh, again ask one more thing like uh, download uh, this 64 bit or 32 bit and depending on your uh, system platform it will just detect and uh, this thing will come and again you hit the 64 bit download and your download will start so basically i have already downloaded this th this thing so i'll just uh, cancel this thing here we have this uh, download and uh, here if i'll just uh, see this is the basically windows 11 uh, as soon as you get the download thing you will get this uh, type type of disk image so you have to just right click on it and you have to unzip it uh, here you, you will just uh, comp uh, like extract to this uh, uh, thing you will do and you will just uh, get the, all the files in this folder and here in the sources folder you have to uh, just uh, change one file and uh, for that uh, you need to uh, go to uh, one uh, url and uh, that is basically appraisers.dll uh, you need to uh, just replace from sources and you just uh, need to just copy this i'll just put this thing in the description and you just uh, get this thing here and here if you just go to this app this link and here the, the this appraisers.dll thing will come and here you just uh, come down and here you just click on this download and as soon as you will click the download uh, your download will start automatically uh, click on the captcha and here we go uh, in .g format it is downloaded and you again you have to extract this thing now right click on it extract it so here in the appraisers this appraisers.dll you have to copy and uh, you need to just uh, in the, this sources folder uh, you need to just paste this thing so replace the file in the destination it will ask so we need to just replace basically this will just uh, bypass your uh, hardware selection process uh, while installing windows 11 so we'll just again go to this windows 11 thing and we'll just double click on this setup.exe and we'll click on uh, we'll just proceed further and again preparing and here uh, this uh, window came install windows 11 here again change how setup download updates uh, here we need to click here you don't need to uh, select this thing download updates driver and op optional features because as soon as you will just click on this and uh, click on the next uh, then your replacement thing will just get again uh, updated to the latest thing and uh, whatever you have replaced uh, will not work so we don't want that so uh, obviously we will click on not right now and we'll go to next so now making uh, sure you are ready to install so here uh, it will take uh, some a uh, few minutes so we'll just wait and uh, i'll just uh, fast forward this thing for you so here you can see uh, uh, it just bypassed the hardware uh, uh, thing like uh, one thing was TPM 1.2 and another one was uh, um, uh, processor I have i5 fourth generation processor and I have TPM 
so both uh, both the thing it just bypassed uh, by just replacing appraisers dot dll so here you can see install windows 11 pro and key person finance and uh, it, it is coming so we can now click on install and uh, you will just get windows 11 uh, if you have windows 10 home or pro whatever based on that uh, this thing will come here and uh, as soon as you'll click install it will just get get installed so let's click on install so here you can see so it's started installing windows 11 is coming so i don't want to install as i am already having installed windows 11 so i'll just click on cancel here now we'll click on yes so it will just stop the installation process so uh, this way you can uh, just uh, install windows 11 uh, i just stop the installation thing so i hope you like uh, this tutorial if you have any doubt regarding this just feel free to comment us below thanks for watching this video